if, for example, you have a router, which is a kind of device would manage a network inside uh, uh, your own with uh, your live box as a small router. But on data center, you will have big router on top of the rack and a small switch on top of mini racks and aggregate. You will have a CPU, small one, and a big ASIC to manage uh, the, the router. And the ASIC will be managed by the CPU, but the ASIC will do all the complicated and very quick stuff. It's, it's a good example. So you, you will host uh, the operating system or the specific network operating system on a, on a CPU, which can be a generic one. But imagine that Juan Francisco is building this router. It's going to be a router or a switch with 48 ports. I need to manage these 48 ports. I need to develop a very specific chip that will have these 48 IOs, a huge throughput connected to my CPU. But as Cisco, I have the budget, I have the volume, and I have the budget to have designed a very specific chip to manage all this um, all this, uh, all this routing. But if I'm a startup or if I want to build uh, my own router with, let's say, a couple units to produce, it will be completely insane to develop a ship on demand because I will never have the model back. Maybe what we can explain there is the, what we call the cycle inside every semiconductor system and explain what will be the difference between the three. And after we will focus more on the CPU. Um, what is a cycle? What we call the, a, proce a processor cycle or a semiconductor cycle? You mean at instruction level? Yes. Uh, so even, let's say, if we go back in, uh, in time 40 or 50 years ago, where you had some more, let's say, early CPUs, or 6809, or 6502, or the uh, 80, that you may, you may remember, the data sheet was only a couple, a couple pages. You had something like 50 or 80, very basic instruction of instance in one clock cycle. At this time, it was something like one microsecond, so one million operations uh, a second. It was possible to do a very basic computation, addition of uh, two 8 bits number, so below 255. And in one clock cycle, they had the possibility to do this basic instruction. Now, what has changed is that the instructions are much, much more complex. So in one clock cycle, you can, in some cases, multiply two vectors, 